everyone, I'm Keely and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm here to do a chatty sew along while I sew my kilo wrap dress. So I recently put out a poll as part of my uh, Sew My Sash series and it came back that you wanted me to make the kilo wrap dress out of a kind of ornate polyester jersey and I thought it would be quite fun since I've got a little bit more time this half term to do a little bit of a sew along. Um, not kind of a formal tutorial, just kind of have you with me um, as I sew the item. So I've gone for long sleeves and uh, I have adjusted the pattern at the waist and hopefully I'm going to cut in some different videos throughout to show you the different bits. So let's get started. So I'm ready to cut out my fabric, so I've already laid it out. Um, so I've just checked that there's going to be enough, which there is, I'm going to make a knee length version and I've just folded it, uh, matching along the seam here. So I wanted to go with this in the centre, but uh, the way the fabric is, I actually couldn't do that. So I've had to go with this kind of pattern in the centre. So I folded it in half all the way along that line. Um, and now I'm just going to lie out my pattern pieces. Now, they are a bit wrinkly, so it's going to be a little bit tricky, I think. And I have just folded it so um, it's going to be a little bit awkward but I'm just going to lie those out first of all and then start cutting. So I am just cutting with normal scissors and I'm going to measure just an inch down from the bottom just so I've got a little bit to play with. So I'm actually really pleased that this one got chosen because it means that um, I'm actually using this piece of fabric that I've had for a super long time. It also means I'm quite worried that it might go wrong. You know, that's just one of those things. <laughs> I do find it easier to cut with scissors. I haven't really tried a rotary cutter, but I just find it easier with scissors the way I've always done it. Um, and pattern weights. And especially um, with jersey, I've never, uh, I've never pinned the pattern pieces on uh, because I feel like that stretches the jersey out of, out of shape. Um, so some of my shapes aren't always accurate, but it still works out all right. So the first piece. So I'm just positioning the second piece. Now, because I've gone for the uh, shorter length, I've folded up the pattern piece. I usually do that because then I can still use the pattern for the longer length later on. And because I'm doing the sleeved version, I've just kind of laid the sleeved bit on top um, and then I've just masking taped it on. And one thing I have adjusted on this pattern is the waist. I've brought the waist up just slightly um, because uh, I've looked, when I looked at it, I thought the waist looked a little bit long for me. And I was actually right um, when I did my first version, which was a strapless version. So you can see I'm quite haphazard when I'm cutting. Um, <laughs> there are some things that I like to do perfectly, but uh, strangely enough, sewing, I don't mind being um, doing some things not quite perfectly, which I know is really strange. And so I will just sometimes just cut and be like, oh yeah, it's fine. But it's also, like I'd spend a long time getting the fabric laid out properly so I can get the best amount. So you can see I haven't laid it salvage to salvage. But it means that I've got this to cut the sleeves out of. So I'm just going to snip in some of the uh, pattern markings. I'll have to go back and onto the other piece and do that on the other one as well um, in a bit. And I will mark the pattern pieces, um, the, the fabric pieces later as well. That's that one. So I've got the ties and the sleeves to do. So cut two on the fold and I don't know if I'm going to quite have enough to do that. I might have to do them going the opposite way which might actually be better and might do that instead. Hopefully I'll, I'll cut the sleeves first so I can always piece the ties if I need to. So this is going to be quite tricky with the sleeve working out where I want the where I want kind of pattern to go. Now I think I'm just going to do it there because it kind of saves the um, fabric and I can use that then for the ties. I'm just going to check. So 
So these pattern weights are from So Essential. They're one my husband bought me uh, last year for Christmas. Um, I find them really good. I like the patterns on them. They've got some quite nice designs on there. Um, I will link them down below so you can go and take a look if you wanted to. So this is the first time I'm making the sleeved version, but I think it's going to be okay. Uh, named patterns I feel in the past have fitted me quite well on the shoulders. So I feel like it's been going to be absolutely fine. And if, it, if the sleeves are a bit funny, then I'll just take the sleeves off. I'm also cutting the longer sleeve, but I might well cut that to a shorter sleeve later on, um, depending on what I kind of think when I put it on. And some people always mess up on this part, so obviously you want a pair of sleeves, not the same sleeve twice, and because I'm not cutting on the fold, I need to remember to flip the sleeve piece. So um, I have forgotten that before and then had to, well, it's been a bit awkward. So flipping the sleeve piece, move that piece out of the way. I think with this scale pattern, there's no way that I'm going to get a match um, on the sleeve. So I'm just kind of going with or with it, basically. So I know I've got my studio upstairs, um, but I'm still cutting on the dining room table. And that's because this table is two metres by metre. So it's a lot longer than my uh, desk which is better um, in terms of for cutting, especially something like this. Um, so I just prefer to put that out there, down here. And also I tend to do my cutting out on an evening and so then I can kind of spend some time with my husband at the same time. way but there's less stretch this way which I actually think is better because it means the ties then won't stretch. Um, I've got a problem with one of my, my Mayfair dress that I made out of a crepe viscose jersey and the ties stretch which is a real nuisance actually um, so I'd, it's actually easier with this fabric to go the opposite way and I'm actually going to line up against the selvage uh, with the darts so I've just lined up the pattern piece on the back of the fabric so I'm just gonna mark the point of the, the dart now I am just using a pencil I don't have any uh, chalk pens or anything like that um, and I just freehand that so I just mark the top of the um, dart basically uh, yeah more just to freehand sewing that I do there so just to the other side Okay, so that's that piece sorted. This was the dart last time that I found a bit more difficult to do because it's just like a long, thin dart. So we might actually try and draw around the actual shape of it. the darts I'm going to take this back upstairs um, and then start sewing. So I'm ready to sew. I've sewn in the darts already um, and I'm just about to do the shoulder seams. So I'm going to sew most of this on the overlocker and I'm going to use clips um, and then just do little bits and pieces on my sewing machine including the hem and then also uh, sewing uh, just some cotton tape into the shoulder seams. Are you on the way now? Let's go over there. So ready to sew the shoulder seams. So shoulder seams done. I'm just going to add the cotton tape on now. So I've added the uh, cotton tape. Now I'm going to put the sleeves on. So I don't know how it does it in the instructions, but I'm going to do them flat and then overlock them and then do the side seams, I think. I think that might be the easiest way for me to do it. So uh, first of all, I'm just lining up the top of the shoulder, um, that centre, 
uh, piece there and then I'll move and match up the other pieces. Hopefully they will just be in line. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this looks with sleep, uh, sleeves because I really love the look of the uh, Kilo Wrap dress and I think it's going to be really cool um, to wear. It's just a different kind of style for me. Um, and I think definitely with sleeves, I think the sleeveless version is really lovely, but all in all, I don't wear that much stuff uh, without sleeves because I just get too cold. So having kind of the sleeved version might mean that I get a bit more wear out of it. So hopefully it will uh, turn out well and I actually really like it. Um, I am wondering whether this fabric is a little bit too kind of loud or a little bit too like a large scale print, but otherwise it might be just like I'm going out for a meal dress or something like that. So this fabric is quite fine, um, which is making it slip a little bit when I'm putting the sleeve in. Um, it keeps curling at the edges. It's just one of, it is a quite a fine polyester um, jersey, but I bought it years ago from eBay. So I think it's one of those things where you don't quite know what you're buying. So that's one sleeve in, just to do the other one. Not the unpicker pine, it's not a good play toy. So I always used to use pins with my overlocker and I would always use pins to do this kind of thing. Um, but then when I, one time, I'd left a pin in and I actually damaged the blade of my overlocker. So it then meant that um, I had to replace it, which was a real nuisance. And well, basically since then, I have always just used clips because it's just so much easier um, to use the clips for this kind of thing then you know that it's not going to go through the overlocker because well it's massive um so my mum bought me these clips i think they're just from amazon or ebay or something like that um so they're not very expensive but they work really well so i think it's definitely good to use a combination of both according to kind of what you're doing right i'm gonna go ahead and sew these so i've done the sleeves so um those are in so before i can sew the side seams or i can sew up to the end here and then i will insert the uh, straps so i'm just going going to clip that together now so normally how i do this is uh, match up the underarm seams first of all and then the bottom kind of sleeve and then just kind of space any markings along the sleeve, first of all. Are you talking to Pi? <laughs> He's led up completely on his back on the floor. So I'm just gonna sew this one and then I'll do the next one. Okay, so that's the uh, kind of main top bit uh, sewn. So I'm just gonna go and try this on and see how it looks. So I just tried it on and it looks awesome. So I'm just going to put the uh, waist ties in. So I've quickly uh, sewn those and turned them in, uh, turned them inside out so I can add them in. So the waist, the waist ties go into the side seams. Definitely if this turns out right, I will be making lots and lots more of these. I really love the addition of the sleeves and the long sleeves are really nice and elegant, but uh, also short sleeves as well would be perfect. So definitely kind of thinking of um, this as something that I can make um, a lot more of. As I said before, this the sleeveless version I wasn't too sure about. And I really liked it as a dress, but I wasn't too sure. And I was a bit worried about the print size, but actually it, it seems to work well. I've lined it up well. The front and back aren't lined up. Literally, I don't know how on earth I would have been able to do that anyway. But yeah, generally really pleased so far. Um, if you do like this style of video, uh, just comment below to say whether you like it. I can do more stuff like this kind of in the future. So let me know if you want me to do any uh, certain patterns for kind of a chatty sew along and hopefully uh, maybe answer some questions. I know that So Hayley Jane does this type of video and I really, really enjoy watching it uh, just because it's just nice to kind of be with somebody else when they're sewing and um, it's almost like you're kind of sewing with a friend and things like that. 
Um, so yeah, if you do want me to do another one, just kind of let me know. It might be a little while according to what it is, just because I've got plenty of time this week because it's half term, whereas it gets a little bit trickier when it's uh, just normal school time. But I'm using a light today uh, and it's dark outside and then I'm still filming. So I'll see kind of how that turns out um, when I'm editing and hopefully that will mean that I can do some things kind of on an evening potentially or when I'm sewing or I can just do a, oh, what am I sewing at the moment style video. Uh, potentially I'm looking to kind of branch out into other types of videos now I don't know that I ever want to do kind of a more formal sew along where it's kind of illustrating kind of how to make a garment I'm not sure I don't know about tutorials either um could do that kind of thing uh, as well um just kind of let me know what you kind of want so I've clipped that in now at the side seams and I'm just going to sew both of those so it's mostly sewn together now. The next few bits I need to do on the sewing machine. So um, I'm just gonna try it on again, check the length and the sleeve length, because I think I might need to take a little bit off the sleeve length. And then I will move the camera so it's uh, based more with my sewing machine. Um, and then I will do the finishing bits. Okay, so um, I'm ready to get started again. I've had to take an inch off the length of the sleeve but the length of the actual dress is fine. I'm a little bit concerned about the neck band because I think by the time I turn it over, it's gonna show my bra strap, but I'm gonna just do it and then uh, change it on the next one. I think it'll be fine um, anyway. So uh, just a few things left to do. So now I'm on my sewing machine, I will be using pins because I just find it easier um, to take them out. So I'm just gonna fold the end of the sleeve over by a centimeter and then a centimeter again. I wouldn't always do that, but with this kind of fabric, because it's a little bit more flimsy, if I didn't do that, I feel like I would always get annoyed with the cuffs. So I'm just gonna turn it over. I usually do this by eye because that's the way I like to do it, it's easier. But I have got my seamstress gauge here by rocking stitch and I have been using that to just check once they're kind of turned over uh, just just as like extra kind of precaution as it were so just a double turn and then I'll just uh, sew it with normal straight stitch on my machine I know people kind of say um, to use like a zigzag stitch or a lightning stitch but I kind of feel that the uh, that kind of stitch is fine and the this isn't an area where it's going to get a lot of stretch um this isn't this is kind of like fits me so it's not going to be stretched all the time or anything like that um, and then if the stitches do break i just re-sew it because like that's the easiest thing to do that's the one sleeve what i do is change the stitch length so i've got it on um three stitch length so i'm just going to use this part of the seamstress gorge or gauge to just check. So it's just over a centimeter, but that's fine. It's the same all the way around. So I really like this. I feel like it's been um, a really quick make, which I'm really pleased about because I've been doing a few slower makes, catching up on a few different sewing projects this half term. So I definitely think that this might be a dress that I could wear to school. I feel like the named patterns their uh, the sleeves and the kind of the shoulders fit me really well which I'm really pleased about because some it is an area where I struggle a little bit on my shoulders having things fit my arms and fit my shoulders as well I've had to like I've had some problems with the Tilly Buttons Freya because of that I don't I don't really know kind of how it's almost like I need the dart but my chest size isn't uh, that big of a difference to my higher bust uh, measurement so I'm not really sure in terms of that so with the neckline I'm going to do the same I'm going to fold over twice but when it gets to the edges I'm just going to fold over smaller um which I don't know if that's the ideal thing to do but I it's what I would normally do in this kind of circumstance it's going to be a little bit tricky getting over that bit because it's got the cotton tape 
so that's going to be a little bit awkward there but that's fine i'll deal with that when i get there on the sewing machine sometimes you have a few skip stitches there but <laughs> i mean people don't look that closely so i just kind of live with the skipped stitches there uh, and i just try and closely match the thread and then people don't notice so i'm folding it over a little bit less um, on the neck band and hopefully as i kind of sew it will kind of evenly stretch around i'm trying to make sure that i've got a nice coverage of pins so it's just sticking out here a little bit so i'm just gonna cut it off i think with this you've probably seen that i just kind of go with it in terms of sewing i'm not that great at following um pattern instructions and things like that i kind of do make it up which is why i think i work better with with jersey because I think you've got more scope for that. Whereas <laughs> with the woven garments, I know that things can stretch out if you do it wrong. So I do tend to follow the instructions a little bit more. And also I've got less experience uh, with woven garments. You know, I've been sewing Jersey for a long, long time, but I'm actually sewing woven garments. I did, I've not done that as much. I did when I first started, but uh, just prefer, much prefer jersey much much prefer jersey my difficulty is is that you don't get as many kind of good prints i don't think in jersey as you do in woven fabrics always i do think that sometimes there's a better selection and i get quite jealous of the selection i wish some of the woven fabrics would also be come out in in a viscous jersey or a cotton jersey right and do the hem i'm going to just tuck the waist ties inside so again, I'm just going to do this by eye, um, I will check it. This should give a little bit of weight to the bottom of the dress, which is quite good. And that's kind of what I want. So when I do this kind of thing, I turn it over twice, kind of like randomly around it. And then I go back and fill in the gap and I find that easier to create kind of a more level hem. I mean, I don't know that it's a perfect uh, solution, but I just find it works well for me. And I don't look at any of my dresses and go, oh no, it's got an uh, uneven hem, especially in the jersey ones. I see it seems to work out fine for me. That's why I kind of do it that way, because I find out what works for me. I don't know what the best actual way is. I, with cotton jersey, I tend to overlock it and then fold it up just once. But with this kind of thing, a viscose jersey, I fold it up twice and I don't overlock it because it gets it too bulky. I just find that easier. If I fold it up once with viscose jersey, I just think it looks a bit funny. I don't I don't really know why I think that. It just, I don't know. I've not liked it as much. I did the one turn up on the Jomi dress because it's such a curved hem, but I just much prefer it when it's uh, two curves. So I'm just gonna go back around and kind of fill in the gaps. Um, so one thing I would say is I, I well, you may be thinking it, um, I do so quite quickly and that is partly because I, for this, I'm not uh, looking at the instructions too much, um, obviously when you're reading the instructions. So the longer you make something or are used to a fabric, the shorter time it will take. I am kind of used to sewing uh, with jersey and I just kind of go with it. I am trying to be fairly accurate, but then this isn't, for me, a super complicated make, I don't think. Uh, my main issues with sewing usually come in the fitting, uh, because I, I really do have problems with fitting, especially if I'm using a kind of new pattern. Um, I sometimes really struggle there, and that's really frustrating. Uh, but especially this, where I've kind of made it before. And now I've done that bodice fitting workshop, it's actually really good because it means I have a lot more confidence in fitting woven garments. And I just made my indigo, which I'm really pleased with, and the fit is like really quite good. So that gives me the confidence to kind of tackle more woven garments and still make them. I think it's because the level of my sewing, and so in Jersey, I feel really like I've got to a really professional level. But with the woven, uh, with woven garments, I just don't feel the same. Okay, so the hem and arms and things are done. So I've got green thread in the top and black in the bottom, but that's not the end of the world, I don't think. I'm going to start with the neckline. So I usually start with the centre back on the neckline. I'm just going to line it up with the edge of the foot. 
Um, and that's another thing. So this has a, a foot lever, which I really like. And then but it's got automatic uh, needle up, needle down. So I'm going to hold on to this. I'm not going to try and stretch it into place. I'm just going to keep it on like level with the edge. Uh, I might have to move it as I get further in just because I've got the thinner sections. So I'm just checking to see that it's all caught, which it has, and that's really nice and even. And I'll do the sleeves. It's actually really lovely to sew something um, in like a couple of hours and just kind of get it done. So rather than me having things cut out for ages uh, to sew. So I'm just gonna snip some of the threads. This machine has the auto cut, but um, obviously it doesn't snip it quite as close as you would need. So last to do is the hem. So I usually start at one of the edges, um, normally on a bit which is the same colour as the thread. Obviously this uh, fabric has several different colours. It's just So again, I'm just doing a line of stitching around uh, one centimetre from the edge, the same amount that I folded over. And I will keep my finger on the bump uh, as I go to just make sure it stays level. Okay, so that's everything kind of stitched. So I will uh, go and put it on and then I can show you the final result. So here it is, obviously I've not done the uh, ties yet. So obviously that's the full uh, span of the dress. Um, so I'm just gonna tie it up. So normally I uh, wrap them round like this and then tie them in the back. So that's one way that you can uh, do that with this dress. So um, really love it. Um, it's wrapping in the right place, my waist is there. The sleeves are really good length, so they're kind of braces, bracelet length sleeves. It fits well on the shoulder. One thing I would say is I am right, it's just on the cusp of my bra strap, like just. So I might just add a little bit coming in, so I've got a bit more co coverage here. That's not the end of the world for this kind of thing. So really nice drape with this fabric um, as well and then fitted with the darts on the back, which I think is quite nice. Um, I will wear this with tights uh, normally, but obviously not for just trying it on, but really, really pleased with it. I'm pleased with the fit. Um, I feel quite nice in it. It's a good dress for winter, although the fabric's quite thin, so, um, but yeah, really love it. And then just to show you some other ways that it can kind of be tied. So some people have tied it more loosely like this i think this doesn't kind of suit my shape as well um but some people have kind of tied it a little bit more uh, loosely like that or of course you have got the option of kind of bringing them round to the back and then tying in the front as well um i just prefer to have more of the kind of bulk at the front the wraps at the front um because otherwise you kind of get this at the back, which I think is fine, but uh, I, mean, I suppose it's a slightly tighter fit on the front. Um, but yeah, really pleased. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye.